what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to be talking about the exorcist believer here in this video here today mostly i'll be sharing my thoughts on the trailer briefly while also diving into more of what you can expect from the film going off of the new release synopsis and some of the comments from david gordon green and just me sharing my thoughts on some of the other test screening details that have been shared with me and now seemingly continue to be confirmed from the new details that have been released from green and the new synopsis that recently released so the trailer that dropped earlier this morning i didn't find it to be very impressive at all besides a couple cool shots some nostalgia bait that i admit did go crazy over the acting seems great not gonna lie there it just wasn't all that impressive to me it seemed very by the numbers very standard doesn't mean it's gonna end up being the worst thing possible but the exorcist to me and a lot of other horror fans is just on a different level playing field so we're gonna have higher standards for sequels to certain films and the exorcist is one of them again as you've heard me mention in another horror update video i've done i basically know the story already thanks to test screening folks so i don't intend to spoil the movie but i will address things that come out that i had heard about weeks ago like some of the fun details in this new synopsis that does tease the film's opening sequence so here's the synopsis since the death of his pregnant wife in a Haitian earthquake 12 years ago, Victor Fielding, played by Leslie Odom Jr., has raised their daughter Angela on his own. But when Angela and her friend Catherine disappear into the woods, only to return three days later with no memory of what happened to them, it unleashes a chain of events that will force Victor to confront the, the nadir of evil and in his terror and desperation seek out the only person alive who has witnessed anything like it before chris mcneil so yes the opening sequence of this film will showcase the death of victor's wife as the synopsis describes and then the story will jump a decade or so later to present time so that is going to be your opening sequence i'm not going to give you any complete context there but yes that will be your opening sequence as the synopsis alludes to that'll be your opening scene it actually is more more of a callback in ways to the opening of the first exorcist movie but you'll you'll get the complete context when it releases in october i know this is the opening not only because of the synopsis but because of the details again that have already been shared with me reference this screenshot in your face right now this is something i was sent weeks ago about the opening and now it's been confirmed with this synopsis so now the trailer also lets us know the girls go missing for a few days but why did they go into the woods well i will tell you this it's connected to the opening scene and the details that we now know about this single husband who lost his wife that's all i will tell you it would appear that bazazu was also back since chris reveals in the trailer that they've met before when she's taunted by the demon also the character of chris mcneil has become an expert of sorts according to green who shared these comments in a recent interview with entertainment weekly her character ended up becoming fascinated by exorcism and studying the rites and rituals of possession throughout culture um, she became a bit of an expert, not an exorcist herself, but renowned for the books that she's written. Now, I put out a tweet saying that this is the type of stuff I don't want happening with Sydney Prescott in the Scream series. I would never want to see Sydney called up and then willingly going into things because people need her help and she's an expert. You know, she's been through this five times before in the past. So Chris being knowledgeable on exorcisms in some capacity, that's not the problem. That is very believable and very understandable for someone who went through something so traumatic with their child. Of course, you might be a little curious about who else has been through this and want to become knowledgeable on maybe how you can prevent something like this happening if that were to ever come up again in your life. That's not the problem. The expert reference is, to me, Chris does very little. I'm not saying she doesn't do anything in that original film, but it is very little that she does to save Reagan during the events that happened in Reagan's bedroom with Merritt and Karis. So judging from the trailer, the parents seem to believe that Chris can help get their girls back. But Green has already told us in this Entertainment Weekly interview that she isn't an expert on performing exorcisms in this story. So why is she taking it upon herself to even go into a room with this possessed child and risk her life when she's never done a single exorcism before? Again, that's just me going off of Green's words and also going off of what I know about the story. Perhaps there's context missing. Again, there could have been reshots. Perhaps there's context missing that will make this better on screen. But knowing what I have down in my notes about Chris and her role if they haven't reshot her role or done anything worthwhile to make this any better this is our sally hardesty of the year to me it is 
it could again end up being executed on screen but the notes i have here about chris and her inclusion i'm i'm chalking that up to Sar sally hardesty level of final girl comebacks it, it i just don't like it i'm sorry because i don't i don't like what i've read about chris's inclusions from the test screenings i still don't enjoy it now with a trailer and green confirming more of the context isn't helping matters what i don't like about her inclusion also has nothing to do with her living or dying just to throw that out there it's everything in between i've said so many times on so many so many other of my screen videos i don't really care if you have a character live or die per se what is the journey up to their fate all of that in between that's what i really care about i care about that meal in between the buns or the meat in between the buns i should say the buns are only so they only make up so much of this sandwich you're serving to me and chris's sandwich that they have cooked up going off of these test screening notes it sucks i'm sorry but it does hopefully they have reshot it but i'm telling you right now if they haven't it sucks um i can only pray that again her role has been improved in some capacity from reshots because there's certain things that if they don't transpire on screen, I'll be thankful for them. And I'll also tell you what those things were if they don't already transpire on screen. But given some of the other spoilers that have been confirmed today from the trailer and Green's recent interview about Chris, I don't think they're doing Chris any justice. I think Chris is completely useless to the story. I think it's a waste of her waste of a comeback. I think they're leaning too much on nostalgia instead of giving her something worthwhile to return for. Sure, she might feel guilty about Reagan. I can understand that. I can respect that. But if she has never performed an exorcism, again, according to Green, how is she any more of an expert than, I don't know, calling up a priest? <laughs> I mean, maybe she's in an Ed Warren scenario in the film where because we know Ed wasn't supposed to do the exorcism in The Conjuring. Maybe she's in that type of scenario. But even still, then I, it, I don't see that happening. I also know that from the test screening notes, that's not what's happening. Uh, I, I just don't it's kind of hard to just believe that she would willingly just thrust herself into a scenario like that given what happened with her daughter I would think she would take an approach to avoid this not go help others physically as much as you can keep on helping them virtually and through your books because we see a YouTube video clip of her but whatever Chris Ellen Burstyn I'm sure she'll do a great job as far as her delivery and her performance I, I don't have any doubt there I just don't think the writing is all that up to par with a worthy return let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description I'll have links on my social media accounts I am on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews I'm going to cover in the future and yes the Exorcist Believer sequel is titled Exorcist Deceiver that film is releasing sometime in 2025 and with all that in mind guys I will see you in in the next video.